Racism, disruption, and bullying a child in a wheelchair. That's just a sample of what TUSD administrators saw when they investigated discipline problems at Seacrest Middle School on Tucson's east side. Kagan Not In Your Sides, Craig Smith has more on the problems and what administrators plan to do about them. Right, and they'll be at school the next Lily Wood sees a lot as a student at Seacrest. I've seen people like they throw milk cartons or orange juice in the mornings at a group of people standing around. TUSD administrators saw so many discipline reports at Seacrest, they sent in a special task force. Kids acted up right in front of them. Administrators say they saw a student push a child in a wheelchair off the sidewalk. They saw students say things like, you orangutan looking B. I can't wait to be homies in prison and find little white boys to make my B and rape their little white A. A student said, quote, if you look at me again, I'm going to kill you, then used a crutch to pretend to shoot up the room. To teachers, students yelled, F you, flipped teachers the finger and walked out of class. They threw things like glass lab beakers, texted on phones, played games on school computers, or just walked out of class. Why do you think things are like this? Because kids think they could get away with anything that they want with no consequences whatsoever. Michael Conrad oversees TUSD middle schools. He says the school imposed discipline, but was so inconsistent students kept testing the limits. He says the district is making it clear what the rules are. We have uh, teachers who have said, if the environment doesn't get better, I'm going to leave. What I'm thankful that I'm hearing is as I've been going out to the school site as frequently as I have, I now have teachers coming and telling me, you know what, I'm seeing improvements. I'm seeing a light at the end of the tunnel. And Conrad says teachers are getting more training on how to keep Seacrest a disciplined place to learn. Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.